This is Sad Eye, the Clown, a Circus Story by Nils Hogner. Sad Eye, the Clown, a Circus Story by Nils Hogner. Sad Eye was really sad because Gossy, his goose, and part of his act in the circus was hurt badly. He was so sad that he ran away from the circus, and Don Mustachio, the owner started out to find him. Where and what happened to Sad Eye is lots of fun, just like circuses should be. Dewey Decimal Classification E. Don Mustachio's Circus Tickets Sad Eye the Clown A Circus Story Written and Illustrated by Nils Hogner 1961 First Cadmus Edition. This special edition is published by arrangement with the publishers of the regular edition, Abelard Schumann and E.M. Hale and Company, Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Copyright 1956 by Nils. Hogner, printed in the United States. The circus was coming to town. First, of course, came the parade. At the head of the parade came the band. After the band came the circus people riding beautiful horses. Next came the camels with gaudy saddles. Then came the animal wagons pulled by heavy workhorses. After the animal wagons came the elephants with their keepers riding on the heads of the big animals. At the very end of the parade came Sad Eye Jim, the clown, carrying Gossy, the goose. They had to be at the end because Gossy had hurt his foot and was very lame. He could not keep up with the parade. So Sad Eye Jim and Gossy got all the dust kicked up by the elephants in front of them. That night, under the big tent in the circus, everybody was having fun, except 
Sad-eyed Jim. Gossy the goose was an important part of the act, and the clown could not perform without him. They sat together outside the tent, both looking very unhappy. Through the entrance of the big tent sat I watched the men swinging high up in the air on the trampees. He saw the bareback riders in one ring. He watched the sea lion balance a ball on the tip of its nose. He heard the boys and girls in the audience laughing gaily at the other clowns as they ran past the opening in the big circus tent. Sad Eye did not even smile. The ringmaster came and gently tapped Jim on the shoulder. The people are asking about you, he said. The bareback rider and the snake man tried to cheer the clown. But sad-eyed Jim only sank deeper down in his chair, holding Gossy the Goose tenderly in his lap. The Thin Man and two small dwarfs came to talk to Sad-Eye Jim. At last, Don Mustachio, the circus owner, started to look for Sad-Eye Jim. He looked inside the tent. But the clown and Gossy the Goose were nowhere to be seen. Don Mustachio was greatly worried about the loss of Sad Eye Jim and Gossy the Goose. After the circus was closed for the afternoon, he set out to look for the clown and his goose. Don Mustachio came to a farm. Have you seen Sad Eye Jim, the clown? The circus owner asked Cyrus, the farmer who lived on the farm. What would a clown be doing here? The farmer replied. But I would like to see a clown. I will help you look for him. Together, Don Mustachio and Cyrus wandered down the road looking here 
and there they passed many cows resting by the roadside, chewing the cud. They passed a flock of geese grazing in a nearby field. But Gossy the Goose was not among them. Soon they came to the old rail fence. Don Mustachio had a great deal of trouble climbing the fence, but the farmer helped him over. By gum, said the farmer, there's Cyrus, my horse. The grass was so high that only the head and back of the horse could be seen. Suddenly, they saw a goose fly up onto the small horse's back. Goodness me, said Don Mustachio. That Gossy the goose. At the sound of Don Mustachio's voice, sad-eyed Jim leaped up and out of the grass where he had been hiding and started to run. He didn't want to be found because he didn't want to be in the circus if Gossy the Goose couldn't be a part of his act. But Cyrus the horse caught the clown's long coat tails and held him fast. Poor sad I tugged and tugged until suddenly one of his coat tails ripped off. The clown rolled over and over and over on the ground. Gossy the goose, still perched on the small horse's back, flapped his wings happily. Sad-Eyed Jim got up and again tried to run, but Cyrus still had the other coat tail. The clown tugged as hard as he could to get away. There was another rip. Off came the other coattail. And sad eyed Jim rolled over and over and over on the green grass. This is Terrible, cried Cyrus the farmer. He was afraid that he would have to pay for the clown's torn coattails. Cyrus has always been a gentle horse, a great help on the farm, 
Cyrus added sadly. This is wonderful, cried Don Mustachio as he ran forward and shook Sad Eye's hand. Poor Cyrus the farmer did not see anything wonderful about it. He looked at the torn coat tails, then he looked at Cyrus the small horse. Then he looked at Sad Eye Jim. Then he looked at Don Mustachio. At last, he looked at Gossy the Goose. It's a terrible thing to lose one's coattail, said Cyrus the farmer. I have no money to pay for them, so I will have to let you take my horse. To Cyrus' great surprise, Don Mustachio took some money out of his pocket. A lot of money. He handed it to Cyrus and said, My friend, Cyrus, the horse, has done us a very good turn. And Gossy, the lame goose, can now go back to the circus and ride instead of walk. You must come and see them, and then you will know what a clown does in the circus. Even sad-eyed Jim nearly smiled. And the next afternoon, the big tent was crowded with people to see Sad-Eye Jim, the clown. At the end of each of his new coattails, a lump of sugar was tied. Behind Sad-Eye came Cyrus, the small horse, with Gossy the goose in the saddle. As the clown rolled over and over, Gossy flapped his wings gaily. Cyrus tugged so hard to get the sugar that both coattails came off. One after the other. Red Hot Horses. The people at the circus thought that this was the funniest thing they had ever seen. Cyrus, the farmer, laughed and laughed. The hot dog man cried out, Red Hot Horses! Red Hot Horses! He was so excited that he forgot that he was selling hot dogs. Mustard hot dogs. Don Mustachio took off his silk hat and bowed. Behind him stood Sad-Eye Jim, actually smiling. Gossy the Goose honked. Cyrus the Horse whinnied, and all the other circus people cheered. Since that day, Sad-Eyed Jim loses his coattails 
every time he goes into the circus ring. He is no longer sad. It is easy to sew new coat tails on. And the crowd always cheers loudest for this clown and gossip, his goose, and Cirrus, the small horse that saved the act. There's no horse in around. You're falling asleep soon. Dreaming of Don Mustachio Circus and tickets and balloons. Cadmus Books, 1956. Sad Eye, the Circus Clown. And Gossy the Goose. the lights. It's time to say goodnight. 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 you can be deep rest asleep